Hello everyone, welcome to Code for Placement. In today's question, we will see how to convert this string into integer. So let's say we will be having an integer value and a string value and that string value we have to convert into integer. So uh, this is how we have to do and um, basic uh, the basic analysis of this question is uh, we will be uh, algorithm we have to find out so in this if it is a negative value or a positive value so we have to append that as well apart from that if that belongs this particular string is belongs to number we have to check if it is a numbers are available then number has to be given if uh, also the maximum of integer value that is 2 to the power 31 if i'm getting this if the value is bigger than this then we have to re return the value of 2 to the power minus 31 2 to the minus 2 to the power 31 so we have to check this uh one value with like this range so this integer supposed to be in this particular range itself apart from this let's check out few examples so in this example suppose my input is s is equal to 42 uh, string is equal to 42 which i am going to pass this is my uh, uh, string if it is uh, 42 i will be getting my 42 as output if it is minus 42 along with the space so it space will be eliminated after that i will be getting minus 42 my in string value is 4193 uh, apart from that we are having some uh, non number characters so we will be eliminating the entire thing and we will just uh, giving as output of the digit whatever the digit is there so basically uh, let's understand this one little more uh, clearly so if we'll go and understand this is so we can understood that from the problem that first the white space need to be eliminated so we have to remove all the white space which is uh, like let's say if i'm having a white space that has to be eliminated so uh, apart from this my white space has to be eliminated from this and this is my first condition second condition is if the number is positive or negative if my number is positive or negative so that also I have to append so if it is negative i have to check uh, positive or negative if it is negative i have to give the result as negative if it is positive i have to give the result as positive third condition we can say that the number the string has to be only from uh, 1 to 9 so if it is framing in between this is my array from this array if i am getting these characters or this digit inside that string then only i have to uh, find out and give so this is very simple and straightforward question and these are the three validations we have to apart from this three validations fourth one is if i am having the largest digit the we have to check the resultant is less than uh, 2 to the power minus 30 or 2 to the power 31 or it will be range of 2 to the power 31 minus 1 so this in in uh, in java we call this as int max what we call it we call it as int um max okay so this is my int max and we also have int uh, min so these are two predefined functions we have it in java uh, this is to uh, check so we what we will doing we will be just checking if my did uh, like in space like from integer to from string to integer if i'm converting after converting into the integer if my integer value is going beyond this i will be all all i will be returning only till this particular values like suppose if my uh, integer converted integer is lesser than this then also i will be returning my uh, min value and if it is more than this then i will be returning my int max value that's it these all validations we have to put and this is what we have to do it in this particular question okay so let's start without wasting any further uh, time let's uh, do the coding stuff and uh, complete this part as well so as we have discussed it is very straightforward question and for uh, for co code what we will be doing first we will check if i am having um, my base condition first of all the base condition is nothing but if my string is null 
in that case i will be appending i will be running zero so in that case if uh, i will just keep keep an if loop if loop and in this if, if loop it is a str if it is equal equal to null in this condition i will be returning my uh zero or my str dot length length function i will be putting and if this is less than one in this condition also i will be returning run uh, zero so let's return zero here apart from this the second uh, thing is uh, we have this int uh, max and int final so let's uh, keep this uh, int max and int min so let's keep a uh, two of the variable and make it int max is equal to i'm having this value as 2147 this is the exact value of 2 to the power 32 so 2147 uh, 48 3647 3647 this is what we are having apart from this i will be having the same value as a min as well so with my negative symbol and this i uh, denote it as min that's it so this is two values i have taken integer value now what i will be taking i have to replace i have to remove all the white spaces means whatever the space is there so let's remove all the space so i will be just taking it str dot replace all replace all function and here i'm just replacing all the functions with a space so basically for space what i have to write it is mm, with my backspace s dot so this is to just to remove my space so after once i have removed the space um my s whatever the string value is there that will be giving me the let's keep this s with is str so this i will be getting okay apart from this uh let's give int is equal to i is zero this is what my index is and uh, we will be keeping two of the boolean values uh, one is for negative another is for positive so if it is is negative negative my str will be start with sorry start with negative and if the same thing start with positive it will be is positive okay so this will be positive it's positive and let's keep this as plus that's all this is what we have and if it is a negative one i will be just checking if it is negative i will do nothing right now i will won't do anything i will just pass the index i will pass the index to the next character and I will be just keeping my else condition also same thing. So let's take this positive here and keep it my else condition. So here what I will be doing, I will just increase the index and that index is nothing but I plus plus. Okay, here also I will do the same thing. I will just increase the index with one. So once I have increased the index means I have already checked whether it is a negative or positive. Later, while returning the integer value, I will append the negative if it is a negative. I will append positive if it is a positive. Now, as it is a <coughs> uh, big character, so let's take this as double. So I'm just taking double num is equal to zero. First, I am assigning with zero and now I'm just converting with my I'm checking and converting my string into um, integer. So for this, I will be just taking few of the conditions here. So if my length, first of all, my i supposed to be uh, lesser than the length and my str dot char at i supposed to be greater than equal to this has to be greater than or equal to zero and of course 
it has to be lesser than equal to 9 so my same character this has to be lesser than my char at supposed to be lesser than equal to 9 that's all we have okay so um, we can enclose this i think enclosing is required we'll see if it is not required we'll 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 check for it okay so now if this is the condition i will be adding it my num okay so i will be just adding uh, this one so why what i'm doing it here is looping for each loop while in the string if my number uh, it is a numeric character and then lending the character into the string so basically this that's it so uh, apart from this i'm just uh, increasing my incrementing my i value so once i've increased i have assigned all the number to all my integer value to n so once i have in increased all the integer value to m i'm just checking whether it is a negative or not in case my number is negative so is negative i'm already having one fun boolean if it is negative i will append with negative symbol if or else i will appending without any symbol. that's it so one more condition i have to put here is i have to check my maximum digit so my num whatever i got it if it is less than my int min if it is less than my int min in that condition i will be just returning my int yeah yeah we have some correction here so basically this is uh we are we, is, we can able to see it is this is um where this particular value huh so this is uh the range of minus 2 to the power 31 2 to the power 31 minus 1 so the positive value will be minus 1 so if i'm going to add this it should be up till 48 and this is 47 second thing is the char at supposed to be in uh it will it is a character so let's keep this as a character itself rather than keeping it as a integer value so just uh, convert this as a character and then we'll move this this one that's it so and the minimum and maximum will be as it is now let's run this question and before we will be facing this issue with uh, replace all this positive negative and double int this one and is negative or not min or max so this is what we are having so let's run this one and um, let's wait for the console yeah here we go super so this is one of the way to convert our integer into a string into integer so basically uh, this is one of the sorted or, or the easiest way to convert our string into integer if you want to see the console it, it is just running do subscribe to code for placement for for the videos and uh, yeah please uh, do subscribe and like this video and share with others so we can contribute to the test cases also we will do these things afterward so yeah here all our test cases are getting passed so yeah this is all this is one of the way to solve this thank you so much guys thank you